This is Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Network at the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery and the American Society of Cosmetic Dermatology and Aesthetic Surgeons Meeting in Phoenix. And with me is Dr. Victor Ross. You gave a talk yesterday at this meeting about um, which lasers, um, kind of advice for dermatologists to buy. What kind of were the overall themes that came out of that session? Well, I think the overall theme was we tried to ha have a venue. Let's say you were on a deserted island and you only had a few lasers you could buy, and, and like the professor in Lugans Island, you had to just have a few things besides that darn radio that he always had. And so I think the consensus was you would have to have something to treat blood vessels, and that would be either an intense pulse light, a pulse dye laser, or a KTP laser. And I think most people felt uh, that the pulse dye laser was the single thing that they could not live without, although most would like to have also an intense pulse light device or IPL, as well as possibly a KTP laser. So you really start with the kind of what kind of patients you tend to have in your practice exactly. Let that guide where That's right. Go. Yeah, you really have to look at your patient population and what types of procedures that they demand. We, we know that almost everybody's going to have a broken blood vessel or, or a pigment lesion, so you really have to have something to do those two things. After that, there's more, I think, controversy over what you might do after that. Is it easy to separate the science from the marketing when it comes to purchasing a laser? Well, it's a challenge because the marketing is usually very compelling. Uh, it, it's very sensational sometimes. The, the pictures are sometimes a little bit over the top. Uh, and you have to separate that from what's really going to be effective in your practice. So you don't want to be too swayed by clever marketing. And what you really have to look at is what the efficacy is of the device. If, if you're going to do something and use something on somebody, you want it to work. Because if, if it only works sometimes, or if you don't have the patient population that demands that service, it doesn't matter about the device or how good the marketing is. So you kind of have to avoid that, oh, it's a new toy and I want to get it. And That's right. It. Some of the new toys aren't the best toys. I mean, some of the best lasers that we still have are like the Pulse Dye Laser. It's been around for over 25 years, yet it's still a, a pretty compelling purchase for a lot of uh, physicians. So I have a, several disclosures. I've done research and had some financial support from companies, including Palomar, Cyton, Kutera, Luminous, Cineron, um, and Candela. Those are the main people. This has been Damien McNamara with Global Medical News Network.